On a cold, windy day, as temperatures struggled to climb into the upper 30s, Eric Morrow's strawberry plants sat protected under a white sea of row covers. The plants have needed the warmth over the past few months. It has been a tough winter this year, but we're coming back. Temperatures have dipped below freezing numerous times this winter. But the season hasn't been nearly as hard on Morrow's crop as last year's, when temperatures fell into the teens and berries experienced cold damage. This year, he hasn't had much damage, but without warm enough days, the plants won't produce many berries, causing a delay in the crop. We're kind of in a gap. Um, we're looking to start really picking a good bit of berries around the middle of February, uh, and then in big season in March and April. Morrill started picking berries back in early November. Farmers are getting berries earlier now because of how they plant and care for their crop. Some of that's due to the fact that they use row covers. Some of it is due to the fact that they're planting uh, transplants. They call them strawberry plugs, and that produces a little bit earlier crop. Earlier berries bring in a better price, but the cold weather is complicating things. Covering the crop costs money, and the cold slows growth. It does get a little bit more expensive to produce the crop, and the delay does mean that they don't get quite as high a price for their berries. Bracey says Louisiana has seen high quality berries this year, and aside from the delay, the yield has been good. Louisiana strawberry season peaks in March and April. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.